It's championship season. Two big one. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Be the Fish. We are up in the Adirondacks for the Slay Nation Championship, the state championship for New York. And uh, we're up here on Saranac Lake. Absolutely some of my favorite freaking places in the world. It's actually the first time I've really fished this body of water anyway. Uh, there's a whole chain, a bunch of different lakes, so many different bodies of water that you can hit. Uh, came up for practice, just got the water with Jose. We're actually sitting here uh, in a nice little cool parking lot. He's uh, loading up. We just got off the water uh, and we're going to do some rigging. But this is some my favorite place on earth. Adirondacks is just unbelievably beautiful. You guys have heard me talk about that several times. I'd retire up here if I could. But state championship tomorrow, it's going to be interesting. I think the first couple hours, we're going to go throw big top water, hoping for a one or two big bites on a, from a large mouth or small mouth, whichever. That's been getting us the big bites. And then we're going to go chase 16 to 18 inch large mouth for the rest of the day. I think it's going to take mid to high 80s to win this thing. Could take low 90s, but it's going to be an interesting one. It's, uh, it's easy to get bit. It's not easy to catch a big one right now. I'm talking 17, 18 plus. I caught a couple that were pretty good. Uh, this week, got one large mouth on top water that was 20 plus, done a big spook. It's a Berkeley J Walker, the 120. We're probably gonna do that for the first couple hours and later go chase some uh, some small mouth offshore. It's that time of year, it's September, fish are roaming, they're chasing bait. So, unfortunately, we're gonna have to be doing that. We're gonna be chasing them around. I'd love to be up shallow throwing top water all day long, frogging, flipping, punching, whatever. But unfortunately, that is just not happening, at least for me, where I found it in multiple different areas and lakes and tried it a lot. I tried it a lot. So you're going to see a whole mix of a bunch of stuff tomorrow. But we're going to get rigged up, head to dinner, and then in about 30 seconds, it's going to be it's a one-day championship tomorrow. One day, one day shootout, where NYKBF is going to be a two-day championship. So in about 30 seconds, it'll be tournament morning, Slay Nation, state championship. We got AOI on the line. We're leading it. Hopefully, we'll come home with a championship dub and an AOI. We'll see you on three, two. All right, good morning, guys. It is six in the morning. We're headed out to our starting spot. We got probably uh, maybe a mile and a half, two mile run to the first spot. State championships. We got Slay Nation this weekend and NYKBF next weekend. So you can look forward to that for the next video. But we're up here in the Adirondacks, my freaking favorite place in the world. Not really, I guess, a, a set lake, just like the region in general because there's so, so many lakes. But you're just out here in the wilderness. Everything's so quiet for the most part. You got loons, wildlife everywhere. The weather's beautiful. And the fishing for the most part is usually always pretty good. We're gonna hope it's the same today. We're gonna hope these fish treat us well and regardless, we're just gonna go have fun, see what we can do and what we can put together. We're gonna, without saying, to start the video, we're gonna start off Throwing a big top water for probably a couple hours this morning. Lock it in our hand because we're getting some really good bites on it. So hopefully we can actually capitalize. They got a wacky rig to follow up in case they miss it. And then later for the rest of the day when the sun gets up and that top water bite falls off a little bit, we're gonna we're gonna go chase some smallmouth and see if we can try to put a limit together. I think it's gonna take. I wouldn't be surprised to see 91, 92, but I'm really thinking it's gonna be like 88, 89 is gonna win it because it's it's hard to get a big bite right now it's not hard to catch 15s and 16s but it's hard to catch 17 plus so at least for me what i noticed in practice so it's it's gonna be an interesting one i'm excited though we'll see you guys when it gets light all right it's 6 29 we're gonna start off we got berkeley jaywalker got a little submerged underwater point here we're gonna start on that's the plan anyway See what trouble we can get into with these fish. Caught a big large mouth in practice right here on top water and then immediately left. 6.30, let's go. Gonna rock this for a couple hours until the sun really comes up. Anyways, I wasn't fighting because he was so small. We'll take that start though. I mean, 
We're sitting in 30, casting up in Fink Tent. Got some grass up here as well. It's kind of what I've been looking for. They're weird. It's not, they're not in milfoil. I saw some beautiful milfoil this week and they're not in, they're in like this cabbage stuff. Which is weird because like Finger Lakes, if you find them in milf, if you find milfoil like that, you're going to catch them. These fish do not, do not like it. I found milfoil. I found coontail. Really good looking stuff. Flip it and then we're gonna move. I don't want to stay locked in one spot too much. Got a lot of ground to cover. A lot of ground. Come on, Jig. Gotta stay in it. net is all the cluster right now. Oh god. I literally just came over here spontaneously because like that log. There's a large mouth. Oh, wow. Yes. Let me get him in here so he doesn't flop around. Oh, dude, that's how freaking big and it was by one hook. He was hooked good. Swap these treble hooks out last night. That was why we started and locked the top water in our hand. Holy smokes. Needed that one. <laughs> Heck yeah. Double check. Double check the picture. Mouth closed. 19. Heck yes. Thank you, Mama. There's number one. We're gonna be locking this in our hands for a while. Now all these laydowns I see, I'm gonna try them. You can bet your butt that's gonna go a long way. It's a good way to start. Great way to start. I don't know what happened to my net. I think I actually caught him on the outside of the net. Somehow didn't lose him. That was a bad net job. I had him by one hook, so I was trying <laughs> everything to ease up on him, but also get him in the net. You never know what's gonna happen when they're in one hook. It's got me all sorts of messed up in here. Goodness gracious. I wonder if there's another one. You gotta make another cast after that. Got to. That was probably a five pounder. If not a very high four. I thought I lost that fish because I got hung up in the tree for a second. I think if it wasn't for the tree, I probably would have had all the hooks in.
After catching that big largemouth, I ran a bunch more shallow patterns in hopes of being able to replicate that bite and find some more bigger largemouth. But in doing so, ran up short, and decided to venture offshore to go fill my limit with some bigger smallmouth. At least that was the hope, but kept on running into small smallmouth. So I decided from here, I'll be spontaneous. I have some areas I can cover. But for now, I'm just going to run a lot of ground, catch as many fish as I can in hopes of finding some bigger caliber fish. Now for folks wondering, Bailey, you are putting a fish counter on here, but you're not actually showing us the fish. Well, because I'm not putting them on the board. Uh, these fish are actually all small, and in the end, I know it's going to win this event. So instead of taking the time out of my day to measure these fish, which I know aren't going to be worth anything in the end of the day, I'm just throwing them back, knowing I need at least 16, 17 inch plus fish to do anything worthwhile in this event. But also added a fish counter on here, and you guys will see at the end of this video why. As I had them. That's probably 16 or 17. Gosh, that sucks. He must have ate it on the fall because he was like running with it. As he... That was the weirdest freaking thing ever. I caught one flipping. Thought it was gonna be a large mouth, not a small mouth. We'll, we'll take it for now. <sighs> is what it is. Can't do anything about it. I was worried about that hook set. I was trying to rush that, which I like, you know, I should, definitely should not have, but probably should have slowed down a little bit and tried to pull tension on, but he jumped in through it. Like I should have pulled taut and tried to engage that hook in him a little bit harder. I, I, didn't, I didn't even think of it at the time. It's funny how you think of these things right after the fact. That was, that was a 16 for sure. Which is all good. There are many a fish in here. Is it even worth measuring these things? Let's measure them until we get a limit at least. Holy Moses, dude. Please don't be a pike. What the? Frick, dude. That felt like a freaking big one, whatever it was. I'm not messing with these things anymore. How did I lose the big one? It's so weird. I don't think it was a pike. I don't know if these smallmouth be eaten if it was a pike. Whatever it was, it felt big. Big, big. Dang it, man. Execution is not on today. Probably a 16, maybe. Maybe a 16. 16, 7, 5. Thank you, bud. I'll take a limit of those right now. We need that to be like the smallest one. Oh. 
What the f Dang it, dude. How did that smallmouth break me off? It doesn't make any sense. It's true what they say. You land everything in practice and lose everything in a tournament. It's the dang truth. Literally went through one jig head. All of practice. Landed almost every freaking fish. On lighter line. I'm using 10 pound test right now. I was using 8 in practice, using 10 now. fish man they're nuts the little ones are just like bonkers it would be so messy if i keep using my legs today for holding them dude what how does that happen how am i losing these fish that was another good one. I switched jig heads. <laughs> that drag's not too loose. What is the deal? No, but I get you perfect. One more time, you freak out. I'm gonna freak out. Okay, you know what? See you later, bud. I'm not dealing with that crap. 13s aren't gonna do crap. I don't know why I'm even trying to measure them. Okay, glad I didn't just leave it right there. It's not a big one, but this day is such a disaster. It's so funny. Stop, 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 stop. stop it. There's a 16. <laughs> Freaking turbo missile going nuts in the deck of the boat. Jesus. and a half. Get through to that 13. Right, we need to leave these things.
please be a 17. Okay, please relax. 17. No, let's close. There we go. 17. Two inch call. Fifteen and a half now. They are everywhere here. Yes. Oh, thank God you're dumb. Big old ones. Needs to be 15 and a half. Yeah, well, another 17. Sweet. God, there's so many fish out here. That's crazy, dude. They need it. Scoping is easy. All right, what do we got now? We got 85 and three quarter. We need to get rid of a 16. We need like some big bigs. Some big bigs. Seventeen, perfect. All right, seventeen and a half. Seventeen and a half. Thanks, bud. Seventeen and a half. Mouth closed. Identifier. Okay. Got Eighty-seven and a quarter. You need to get rid of a sixteen seven five. Sixteen seven five for sure. Ah, 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 no, no, no. Stop. Stop it. I know you're pissed. Eighteen and a half. Thank you, bud. That was sick. Big one finally eight. Barely eight. Alright, we got eighty nine. Gotta get rid of a seventeen. We can get more than Freaking 18s, dude. Another 18, and we got 90 inches. keeping them out of the water i kept putting them back in but holy moly he would not let me grab my phone as soon as i go to grab my phone he would fly all over the place it was 18 and a quarter all right what do we got we got 90 and a quarter i gotta get rid of another 17 
two big ones. I have quite the editing to do on this one. Holy Moses. Might call 17. He's got a dirt mouth too. Thank you, bud. Quarter inch call. He messed up my hand good. He got me spines and everywhere. I gotta get rid of him basically. I got stuff flying everywhere. I got fish trying to kill me because they're thinking I'm trying to kill them. I'm just trying to just trying to take a picture. This is probably gonna turn into a long freaking video. I might some of these small fish. I might just fast forward. I don't know if he's gonna help, but I netted him just in case. No. It's probably 16. Just big item from afar. Seventeen and a half. All right, let me get rid of that. Ninety and three quarter. Beat 17 and a half by a quarter of an inch. Hey, we're making calls. That's all that matters. 17.75. We gotta get rid of a 17 and a half again. My thumb is so raw. It's not even funny. 17.75. Mouth closed. Identifier. Okay. Alright, so now we got 91. I'm gonna get rid of a 17 and a half. I think at some point I'm gonna have to leave and go look for a largemouth because these. Well, I'm I'm glad I'm calling. I'm not gonna complain about that. I need a big one. If I'm gonna have a shot. I don't think this is the winning bag right now. No! Why did I do that? I'd lose just saying I needed a bigger fish. That was a bigger fish. That was literally a 20. That was a 20. She came straight up at me. I didn't know what else to do. Dude, that freaking sucks. 
<sighs> I don't know what else to do there. That hurts. Pull out 17.5, I think. I hope. Yeah, butterball. Thanks, bud. Oh, I can't believe how the biggest one is the one I drop. And it, I literally catch it right under the boat. Come straight up. Build that over it. And I won't be, because I probably won't win because of that. And that was probably a two, three inch call that would have gotten me around 93, 94. That would have been a pretty strong bag. <sighs> that might call. All I know is I've been putting a freaking train rack on these fish off this one spot. I don't know why this is not getting these bigger fish pinned. Mouth closed, 1775, identifier. All right, 1775, thank you, pal. So I got rid of a 1775. Should be an 18. All right, Joe. God, they're mangling my hand. 18 and a half, identifier, mouth closed. All right, 0.75 call. 18 and a half. I think now we gotta call, I think we gotta call another 17.75. It's like, do I stay here or go look for a largemouth? But then I run into that one as I'm about to leave. It's like, what do I do? I need another big one. Like big, big. the last 17. Okay, I'm not going for a largemouth. I don't know, if this calls, I'm not going for a largemouth. Although I could use a 20. I think my only chance at a 20, well, I lost a 20. <laughs> Small mouth. Right, let's call. It's an 18. Another 18. Thank you, mama. I appreciate you playing. I'm gonna need a fish counter on here. I'm gonna put a fish counter on, and likely you hearing me say that means I've added one already, so just ignore me as I ramble about what the heck I'm gonna do next. <sighs> what are we gonna get rid of now? I think that one. We gotta get rid of 18. 
basically at all 19 to 18, so it's, it's like, what do I do now? You know, I... But, you know, who gets really, like... I mean, if, if you want to... Oh, 7 p.m. An hour and a half from you? Okay. Got an hour and a half left. My buddies from... My college buddies just called me. And then a big one. I'm going to skim through here for what looks like a big one. Gosh, they're so big. They look big. Saw the net. Yes. God, look at that. Look at all that fish you just spit up. That's what they're eating. It needs to be an 18. Stay, 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 stay. Another 18 and a half. Decisions, baby. God, if we had that small mouth, we'd have a freaking bag. My uh, chesty is not working. My apologies. I need to switch from GoPro to DJI because my stuff's just not working. So let's go to some marina. One hour left. Let's go throw a jig. Let's go flip for a large mouth. Oh, I'm shaking. That's a big one. Screwed that up royally. How embarrassing would that have been? <laughs> that was crazy, dude. <laughs> 19 and a half. These fish are freaking mean, dude. Like, they're beating me up. It's an inch and a half coal. <laughs> I'm glad I brought the jig today. Alright guys, that's it. That's 3 o'clock. That's what we ended with. That was a really clutch call there about an hour ago. That big largemouth. I don't think I don't think I won it, but I'm pretty sure I'm top 5 with 94. I, I would think, unless they really smacked him. But. All in all, it was a good day. We dumped that one really big smallmouth. Other than that, you know, that was the only fish that I lost that I mean, there's a couple that I, I popped off or broke and you know they felt good but who knows they could have easily been 17s which would have been good at the moment but in the end didn't help me any had a lot of fun caught so many freaking fish it was so much fun i love this place i love i'm definitely coming back here soon we're gonna go run back 
we got to go ahead to awards, see how we ended up in the championship, but also see if, see if we won an Angler of the Year. So there's a lot on the line here. You're going to find out in three, two. Well, guys, tournament wrapped up, went to awards, hung out with the Slay Nation crew over there. They did a great job this year putting these events on. Uh, really appreciate them for their efforts. These tournament directors, these guys, I mean, across the board for them, NYKBF, they don't get paid. If they, if they do get anything, it's very, 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 very small. They put a lot of effort into it just so that we can come out here, fish these events, have a good time, and have a circuit to go compete at. And really, they're the foundation of some of the great friendships I have, the community we have here in New York from a kayak fishing standpoint, and seriously applaud them for every all of their efforts this past season. But this event, uh, go we went in, caught a crap ton of fish. Hope you guys enjoyed that fish counter, although it might have gotten annoying to an extent. It might have been even for me editing it, but uh, 94 inches on the dot, second place in the championship. Big shout out to uh, Matthew Rothery, who had a great year, had 94 and three quarter uh, quarters, beat me out for first place, took it home. Uh, big shout out to him for the dub. It's pretty freaking awesome. But uh, with that second place, we're able to uh, complete the Slay Nation season and get Angler of the Year. We still got the plaque on the way for Angler of the Year, so once we get that all figured out and caught up, uh, I'll make sure to show you guys uh, when that's here. But uh, we got some stuff in store coming up next week for you guys because we have the NYKBF State Championships as well. And we're trying to go back to back to back on Angler of the Year and go back to back on a state championship win. You guys know, if it's not win, you know, it's win or learn, that's it. So looking forward to that video because that's going to be a heater for you guys. We caught some freaking biggins. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe. We got a whole bunch of stuff coming to you and some big freaking announcements. Huge news that scares the living hell out of me, but what I'm really excited for all the less. Don't know why I'm shaking it up right here. You're probably getting nauseous watching me film this. So I'll get out of here. Like, subscribe. We'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.